what's good y'all welcome back to my channel so as y'all can see i'm going to be showing you guys how i laid and slayed this motherfucking hair y'all um this also will be a product review um by hair by erica j this video is sponsored by her so if you guys want to see if her glue really holds it down then definitely continue watching this video and of course you guys want to see how i slayed this then also continue watching this video So, um, with this routine, I'm pretty much going to be following the steps that she did in one of her previous videos. So, I'm starting off by cleaning the lace and also um, using this to also clean my skin with alcohol. You always want to make sure you cleanse your skin, y'all, because if you don't, then your lace probably won't really stay the way you want it to. So, definitely do this um, part before starting anything. Then I'm going to completely just let that dry all the, all the way. So definitely check my description box, y'all, for all the details um, on her company. Everything is listed down below. So now I'm taking her Hold Me Down Skin um, Guard. And this is just going to protect the skin before we lay this glue down. So I'm gonna spray that all over and then we're gonna let that completely dry. And don't mind my little fan, y'all. This is, if you are a lash tech, then you already know what, what this is. This is what I use for my clients. But um, it's, it also comes in handy when I don't feel like trying to plug my, dry, my um, hair dryer up. So we're moving on to the hold me down glue. So this is what it looks like. So I'm taking a popsicle stick just so I can apply the glue on smoothly. Now, I know y'all wondering, like, why the fuck you putting the glue on the cap? So like I said, I'm following the steps that I watched from her previous video. And this is what she did. So, you know, this I'm going to do it too. Like, I'm going to try it. Maybe this will really, really help. Um, She did a video on how to properly use and apply her product so this is what i am doing i'm just following what sis told us to do i'm just following her steps um now i didn't have any got to be glue freeze blast freeze blast spray so i'm just gonna be using this glue um but in her video she used she also did um the spray as well and sprayed it all over um i didn't have none so we're just gonna use what we got so I'm going to let that glue completely dry. So after that glue is done drying, I'm going to go ahead and cut that lace. We're going to go on to cut the ear part. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of do like this method because as y'all can see, my hair was motherfucking laid, okay? Like, it was giving me complete scalp. So, I may actually start using this routine when I'm applying all of my wigs from now on. So, after I cut the lace, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation um, shade. And I'm using something a tad bit darker than what I would normally use. So, yeah. So now I'm going to be reapplying the glue. Now, when I watched her video, what she recommended was to put some of the glue on the lace and a little bit on the skin. So uh, that is what I'm doing. I'm just mainly putting the glue on that lace and then taking it a little bit um, past the lace, just a little bit past the lace. Um this routine was much more easier than what i normally do and y'all will see but like i said i definitely recommend you try it like this this is my first time trying it like this and i like it you know what i'm saying i may actually start doing this because this had my shit laid and it lasted for 
longer than what my wigs usually last for so yeah so i did if i'm not mistaken i think i did two layers of glue so you want to make sure the first layer dries clear before applying the second layer so right here i'm just applying the second layer of glue So this is the unit that she sent me. Um, the link to this unit is down below, y'all. Freaking love this hair. I feel like she has the best curly hair. This is my second time trying um, her curly hair out. And amazing. Super bomb. Um, I got this wig in 26 inches. And it's so freaking bomb. Now, the reason that the lace is already cut because, I mean, I already cut it. So, yeah. So right here, I'm just pressing that glue in. So as y'all can see, Pretty much we're just going, so I pretty much what I did was I laid the wig where I wanted to lay it. I didn't focus on trying to lay it on the glue. So I laid it um, where I want the, the wig to lay and then the parts that are not glued, which is pretty much going to go back and glue that. And I feel like this is so much more easier because you don't have to worry about if you, you know what I'm saying, have the glue outside of the lace and stuff like that so i feel like this is much more convenient and easier and it's less of a mess you know what i'm saying less messy so any part that's lifting we're gonna lightly apply the glue let it dry and then we're going to lay the lace and i feel like this is just so much more convenient so much more easier so like i said i definitely recommend y'all try this method out Now the next slide, my face is beat. So um, I let I did my edges off camera, y'all. Um, I would normally use her mousse. First of all, let's take a moment to look at how late. Isn't this giving y'all real hair vibes? Period. So like I was saying, I normally would use her mousse, but I did not have none of that left. So I used some gel. I normally wouldn't use gel. It's my first time using using gel to lay my edges. I use the Eco Silent Gel. But period, pool. Like, look at how laid this shit is. Like, come on, stop playing. Okay? Stop playing. And as y'all can see, this shit is stuck. The glue definitely hold it down, held it down. Okay. So I'm taking my edge brush, and y'all already know I always comb my edges out to give it a much more like natural look. So that is what I'm doing. And then I know the hair looking a little dry, but we're going to bring them, bring them curls back to life. Y'all will see further on into the video. Ugh, I just love how this came out. Like everything, that hairline looks freaking bomb, okay? Bomb, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started on bringing these curls back to life so i'm starting off with some water and i'm just spraying water on the hair and rubbing my fingers through it and i'm just going to keep doing this until i get the desired look that i want and i'm just taking some conditioner spray that i normally use for my natural hair so i said why not spray this on the hair as well so that is what i'm doing and i'm just going to keep doing keep spraying and spraying it until i get the desired look that i want because i don't want it to look too wet but i don't want it to be looking all puffy and dry either so that is what you see me doing and look at how bomb these curls look y'all like this hair is amazing and cop y'all this hair if y'all really really like it i freaking love it so yeah check my description box for all information and all details so this is just how the hair looks combed out and in this puffy state. And I like it in the puffy state too. So I'm just going to complete that side. And yeah, y'all will see the finished product. Freaking love curly hair, y'all. Oh, if you know me, you know I live for curly hair. Like this came out so bomb. And this is pretty much the final product. Now, stay tuned for the rest of this video because I will be doing the wet test to test out this glue to see does it really hold. So you guys will see that in the next few clips. So stay tuned. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the game. Leave some comments down below what y'all think of this so far and this hair and this hairstyle. Did I do that shit or not? Okay. So leave some comments and let's go ahead and get this video to 100 likes. All 
All right, so moving on to the wet test. I'm in the shower testing out this glue. So I'm just getting my hair completely wet, rubbing the water on the lace, you know, getting that shit drenched. And we're going to see, does it hold, okay? We're going to see, does this glue really, really, really hold, hold it down? So let's see. I'm getting my hair completely wet so y'all can see. And I'm pulling and tugging on my lace. And as y'all can see, it's not lifting. And the glue definitely held that shit down. So shout out to her for this bomb product. If y'all want this glue, definitely go cop that shit for real. It definitely hold it. It definitely held my lace down. So yeah. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how to use her uh, laid off at, um, adhesive, her laid off spray to get the lace off. So you want to spray and rub the product in and leave it in for three to five minutes as recommended on the bottle. So I'm just spraying it and rubbing it into my lace. And you guys will see this shit will come completely off within less than three minutes, honestly. This is amazing. I used to struggle trying to take my wigs off, y'all. I swear, guys. So, so happy that I have a product that's easier. And as you guys can see, like, it's coming completely off. I'm not forcing it. It's just coming off. It's not painful. It's not hurting me. Nothing. So this is the completed video. If you guys enjoyed, definitely thumbs this video up. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to check my description box. And I will see y'all in the next video.